In this video, I'm going to teach you about generating Poisson noise. I'd like to introduce Poisson processes with an analogy. There was a famous TV commercial in the US in the 1970s. A boy would ask his animal friends how many licks it takes to get to the center of a lollipop. And the funny part of the commercial was that the wise owl would say three because he would lick the lollipop three times and then bite through the rest of it. But let's say you're a scientist and you want to know the real answer. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? So you set up an experiment. You buy 1,000 lollipops and then you take the first lollipop and count the number of licks it takes to get to the center. And then you take the next lollipop and count the number of licks it takes to get to the center of that lollipop and on and on and on for 1,000 lollipops. Of course, each lollipop takes a slightly different number of licks, but after a thousand lollipops, the number of licks will be distributed around some value. So now you have an answer, but that answer is valid only for one size of a lollipop. If the lollipop were smaller, it would take fewer licks, and if the lollipop were larger, it would take more licks. So you have to repeat the experiment for many different sizes of lollipops and you would end up with a lot of different distributions. So this is the analogy to Poisson processes, and I'll explain in the MATLAB code how the real Poisson algorithm relates to this analogy. But before switching to MATLAB, I want to make two things clear. First of all, I really don't recommend actually doing this experiment. Of course, a lollipop now and then is fine, but thousands of lollipops will make all your teeth rot, and your dentist will be very disappointed in you. Secondly, just in case you were wondering, I was not born when this commercial came out, but it was also a popular commercial in the 1980s when I was growing up. Anyway, let's see how this is implemented in MATLAB. Here I specify the number of points, which corresponds to the number of lollipops. This lambda parameter here defines the mean of the distribution, which is like the size of the lollipop in my analogy. And now here is a loop that goes over points or lollipops. Here I initialize p and k, these are two parameters that are used inside this while loop. And the idea is that inside this while loop, the number p keeps counting down until p gets smaller than e to the minus lambda. And so e to the minus lambda is some small non-negative number that depends on how you specified lambda. This value of p continually decreases because I'm multiplying it by a random number generated from a uniform distribution, and that number is always less than 1. Here with k, I'm keeping track of the number of times we've run through this while loop here. So k is like the number of licks. p is like how much of the lollipop you remove with each lick. And when p gets small enough, this loop ends and we count the total number of licks as the Poisson value for this iteration. The minus two here is just a bit of housekeeping because we want to know how many times we were in this loop before reaching this threshold. And that's it, that's how you generate Poisson random numbers. Here you can see the values, and here you see their distributions, the QQ plot and the violin plot. The distribution sometimes looks a bit weird because they're all non-zero integer values. There are no fractions or decimal points or negative numbers in a Poisson distribution. That's clear from the analogy. A lick is a lick. You can't have 2.4 licks or minus 6 licks. I hope you found this analogy useful for understanding Poisson noise. You can look up this commercial on YouTube if you want. Just search for Tootsie Pop commercial and you'll find plenty of hits. More seriously though, Poisson noise is used very often in simulations, in particular in physics, because many physical and biological phenomena have distributions that are well characterized using Poisson processes. Just to give you two quick examples, in photography, satellite imaging, microscopy, and related fields, there's something called shot noise. Shot noise is like salt and pepper noise in the images, and it results from photons randomly bouncing into the shutter. So let's think about this for a minute. The shutter of the camera is open for some specified period of time, 
and photons can randomly pass through the shutter and hit the film. I hope you can see how this is characterized by a Poisson process and how this relates to my analogy of licking a lollipop. Another example is brain cells. Brain cells communicate with each other by sending brief electrochemical signals and a signal is sent as soon as the cell, the brain cell, gets enough input to exceed some threshold value. So excitation builds up, the threshold is reached, and the brain cell emits a burst of electricity. Again, I encourage you to take a moment to think about how this relates to the lollipop analogy, and therefore why Poisson processes are often used to model and characterize neural activity. In this video, I showed you how to think about and generate Poisson noise. I hope that the silly analogy with lollipops will help you remember the interpretation and generation of Poisson processes.